high profile coloured footballers. High profile coloured footballers. High profile coloured footballers. The head of the English Football Association, Greg Clark, has lost his job because he used the politically incorrect, outdated term people of colour instead of saying coloured people, which is what you're meant to say uh, these days. But it's quite an innocent mistake to make and people have leapt on it and hounded him out of his job just because he's um, such a dottery old man. I mean, look at him, he looks about 100 years old and he can't remember what's the right thing uh, to say these days. But he didn't have any racist intention behind what he said, did he? He was certainly someone who spent a long time trying to eradicate racism from football. And he's made a silly mistake and he's apologised for it. But, you know, he hasn't hasn't salvaged his job out of it. But, you know, who cares? He's only an old man anyway. And who, who cares about old people? Huh? <laughs> anyway, make sure that you don't use politically incorrect language. You might lose your job. Earlier on, I think I heard you refer to coloured people earlier on. Isn't if if that's the case, uh, would you want to withdraw that language? Because isn't that exactly the sort of language that means that inclusion is not a reality, even though football is very diverse and has many people within it from ethnic minority backgrounds and also people who are gay. Backgrounds and also people who are gay. Backgrounds and also people who are gay. Minority backgrounds and also people who are gay.